In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I wish I could be with you in person today, but because of the air quality, we've been asked not to hold outdoor activities at this time, so uh, it's my decision to have it inside the church here by myself, uh, going through the parish live stream. Today we celebrate the feast of the Apostle St. Bartholomew, or as we'll hear in the Gospel today, his other name, Nathaniel. And we offer this Mass for eternal rest of the soul of B.A. Korea Kosen. And as we prepare to enter these sacred mysteries of Christ's life, death, and resurrection, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And together we all proclaim glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates, where 12 angels were stationed, and on which names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had twelve courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faith, faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom, your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, 
and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends may known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord, my lips and my heart. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Did anything good come from Nazareth? Jesus, Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angel of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Once more, good morning, everyone. Uh, It's a blessing to be with you today as we celebrate the feast of St. Bartholomew, one of the Twelve Apostles or as he has talked about in our reading from St. Luke today, St. Nathaniel. And it's a reminder to us how God calls us and how God sees us. Nathaniel, at the very beginning of the Gospel, is kind of doubtful. He's actually kind of dismissive of who Jesus might be. And yet God, Jesus, sees Nathaniel for who he is, who he is called to be who God created him to be. And it's a reminder to us of that gift that God gives to us on a regular basis. That idea that as God pours out his grace upon us, we all respond in a unique manner that God desires from us. We're not all the same. We don't all have the same thoughts, the same feelings, the same attitudes. And yet God calls us to be one by being who we are, by being the person of grace and blessing, the person who is called to be an evangelist, an apostle, to go out and spread the good news, to speak of the blessing of God, to speak of the truth of God, to speak of the hope of God. That is our apostolic call as a church. And each one of us is part of that call as Nathaniel, as Bartholomew was, as the other 11 disciples, apostles were, and of all those men and women who gathered around Jesus, who went out to share the good news. And so today we remind ourselves of that, that we might be limited by, by our own humanity, And yet, as Jesus reminds Nathanael at the end, you will see greater things if you trust and believe. And not only see, but participate. So today, where we spiritually receive the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray for God's blessing upon us, that we might speak clearly the word of God, Live boldly the works of mercy, the works of peace, the works of joy. And that we might be one with Jesus in all that we say and do.
And so we bring our prayers to our Heavenly Father. We pray for our Holy Church. We pray that we might continue to be a beacon of light, hope, and peace to the world. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those affected by these fires. We pray for those who have lost their homes, have lost property. We pray for those who have lost work because of the fires. We pray that all life might be protected. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are fighting the fires. We pray that these men and women might be protected during this time of stress and danger. And through the intercession of St. Florian, be kept safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our, our state, our country, our world during this time of pandemic. We pray especially for those who have died of the coronavirus, those who are sick in hospital today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for vocations to the priesthood, to the consecrated religious life, for our young people to answer the call to love God in these unique vocations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all who have died. In a special way, we offer this Mass for the eternal rest of the souls of B.A. Koryakos. That all might be embraced in the loving arms of our Heavenly Father, we pray to the Lord. And we, at this time, invite you to offer your own prayers in silence. Or you may write them onto our Facebook live stream. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of goodness and love, we ask you to hear our prayers. And that you may grant them through your Son, who is Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. 
As we celebrate anew the Feast of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whom we honor and bring this sacrifice of praise. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on the apostolic foundation, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for all the, for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel, strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oscar, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, St. Bartholomew, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from our evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us turn and offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe. Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed, of the blessed Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be, for, of, a, be of help to us, both now and for the life to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once more, thank you for joining us. We will try to keep you updated as possible. Please check out our parish website uh, and our, our parish Facebook page, and we'll try to keep up to date when we will be holding outdoor services again. Uh, once again, we pray for all those who are affected by the fire, but especially for the protection of those uh, firefighters, those men and women who are uh, risking their lives in many ways to keep us safe. So. Once again, we keep them all in our prayers. But thank you again for joining us. Please continue to pray for your church. Pray for me. Pray for your, my, 
all priests and bishops, and thank you once again on this feast of St. Bartholomew. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life.